Hello everybody. So today our topic is going to be about false teachings. Now, in our last video, we talked about the richness of salvation. Okay, so it's so wonderful to talk about how Jesus saves those who call on him. It's so wonderful to talk about how God saves us, regenerates us, reconciles us, sets us free, washes us, adopts us, gives us eternal life, forgives us, justifies us, all that stuff. But here's the thing. The Bible says it is so wonderful to talk about that. There was a guy in the Bible named Jude. He was Jesus' brother. He was a believer in Jesus too. And he wrote, I wanted to write to you about this salvation that we all share, that we all have in common. But he said, it was needful for me to write to you and warn you about false teachers. Because the Bible says many false teachers are gone out into the world. They teach things against God's word. So we're going to look at some of those false teachings today. So we got, a, we got another drawing here, guys. So you see our first one today is the false teaching that Jesus is not God. Now, that's what a lot of people say. Now, you know, have you ever heard of the Jehovah's Witnesses? You probably have. If you haven't, they're a group of people. They say they're Christians. They usually, they try to win a lot of people over to their beliefs and they knock at people's doors and they tell people, you know, become a Jehovah's Witness and stuff. But one of the things that they believe is that Jesus is not God. They believe that he was just, you know, God made him and he's the, like the, the second highest being in the universe. This is totally against what the Bible says. In the Bible, first uh, in John chapter one, it says in the beginning was the word. The word was with God and the word was God. Now, if you remember from our video, who Jesus is, you will remember that the word is Jesus. Jesus is God. It's all throughout the Bible. Titus chapter two. Two, it says Jesus is the great God and Savior. Hebrews chapter 1, it says the Son is called God. Okay, so Jesus is God. It shows how much God loved us that God would become a man to die for us. So when we believe, when we buy into the lie that Jesus is not God, then we are robbing ourselves of God's love and we're believing a lie. So this lie comes from the devil. Don't believe it. Now there's other false teachings. There's many false teachings and these aren't all of them, but these are some of them. Now another one is uh, right here, division. Okay, now division, the, as you can see, there's like a little hand chopping a person in half, right? Well, th this is what the Bible says. The church it's not a building. It's all the Christians in the world, all the believers in the world. We're like one body and Jesus is the head. But there's a lot of people in churches. They try to divide. They try to cut us in half. They try to, you know, split us up with all types of different teachings. And, and, that, and they try to like, you know, make us enemies against each other. This is terrible. The Bible says when you kill each other and do these things, God will not answer your prayers in James chapter 4. So a lot of these people, they try to split us up. And you know, sometimes if you preach the truth, people won't like it and they'll split up. That's a good type of division, so to speak. Even that's not a happy thing to happen, but it's the truth. But a lot of people, they just split each other up and they just bite at each other and devour each other. And there's these false teachers who do this. They're lifted up with pride. They think they're the best and they split the church of God in half. And that is a terrible thing. In Romans chapter 16, it says, mark people that cause divisions and realize that they don't serve the Lord Jesus Christ. They serve their own belly and they trick people by saying nice things. So don't listen to people who want to divide the body of Christ, the church of God. Okay. So now we can see another one is another false teaching is that sin is okay. Now, a lot of people, they say that sin is okay. They say it's okay to sin. As you can see, there's a tablet being broken, you know, like God's law was written on the, the tablets that he gave to Moses. Well, here's the thing. A lot of people, they say it's okay to sin. They say God will forgive you. God loves you. And it's all right. That is a lie. God will punish those who sin. Sinning is not okay. It is the law of the universe. God's holy, holy law. We cannot break it. It is wrong. And people say that it's, it's okay to sin. God will forgive you. It doesn't matter. Because, you know, we, we know that we are not saved by doing good deeds. So even if we tried to stop all of our sin and thought that we were going to get to heaven, it won't work. We have to trust in Jesus because we can't save ourselves. But when we become a Christian, we don't sin anymore. The Spirit of God lives inside of us, gives us power not to sin, gives us power to fight the devil. So people who say that sin is okay and that God doesn't care, they are wrong. Don't listen to them. There's another one that's closely related to this, and it's called cheap grace. Okay, and you can see there's a little, you know, price tag that says, yo, half off. Now, what on earth is this saying? Well, 
The Bible says, Jesus said, if you want to follow me, you have to love me more than your father, your sister, your mother, your father, your, your, your brothers, and your own life. God said in the Old Testament, love the Lord your God with all of your heart, all of your soul, all of your mind, and all of your strength. So if you want to be a true Christian, it's not just to, you know, believe in Jesus and then we get to walk away and do whatever we want. If you're a Christian, you need to give everything to Jesus. Jesus said, if someone wants to follow me, you have to take up your cross, deny yourself. In other words, throw yourself away and then follow me. If you want to be a true Christian, you have to give everything to the Lord Jesus Christ. You have to live for the one who died for you and came back to life. So people, some people say, well, if you want to be a Christian, it's okay. You can just do whatever you want. It doesn't matter. And you can just live, you know, any way you want. That's called cheap grace. God gives us his grace and saves us. But a lot of people think, oh, whatever, that's it. But no, if you want to be a true Christian, you have to follow the Lord Jesus Christ with everything. Like a slave. But this is a good type of slavery because we get such goodness from God. We have to love God with everything we have. So people who say, oh, you know, being a Christian, no big deal. Just believe and walk away and don't do anything. That is wrong. The Bible says we were created to do good works in Christ Jesus. So we are supposed to live for God. Now, there's many other false teachings too. Another one we got here is, uh, oh, look at this one. Strange doctrines. Now, doctrine, do the word doctrine is a fancy word for teaching. So strange teachings. As you can see, there's, uh, you know, question marks because it's like what's going on well there's a lot of people who teach really weird stuff for example maybe you've heard of the mormons the mormons are a group of people and they believe really weird stuff they believe god lives on a star or lives on a planet near a star called Kolob and has multiple wives with whom he has spirit babies. And Jesus is spirit brothers with Lucifer. And there was a man named Joseph Smith who found golden plates that had secret messages on them. And from them he inscribed a secret book called the Book of Mormon that talks about how Jesus came to the Native American tribes who are actually the 12 tribes of Israel. And like, you're, you're probably looking at me as saying, what are you talking about? And I would say, Exactly. In the book of Hebrews chapter 13, it says, don't be carried away with all these strange teachings, these strange doctrines, all these diverse, weird, different doctrines. They're just messed up. It doesn't even make sense. So don't listen to people who tell you all this weird stuff you know the Bible doesn't say. The Bible says in Ephesians chapter 4, we should be ground in Christ. We should be steadfast in Christ so that we are not moved by all the wind of the strange teachings. Okay, so don't listen to weird people that say weird stuff. Now, there's a lot of people who also will tell you that the Bible is not true. See this guy stamping on the Bible very bad. A lot of people, they'll say, you know, the Bible is just a book. We can take some parts of it and we can leave other parts. Now, that is not true. They will tell you certain sins are okay and others aren't. That is messed up. The entire Bible is true. The Bible says your word is true from the beginning. Everything in God's word is true. Nothing in it is made up. It came from heaven. It came from God's mouth. It's the story for the whole world. So if anybody tells you it's not true, you can immediately know this is Satan trying to discredit God's word and we can reject it like that because everything in God's holy word is true. Now, there's a lot of other false teachings. Another one is called itching ears, okay? Now, itching, you can see this guy, he has somebody's itching his ear, right? Because, you know, itching ears. Now, the Bible says that in uh, 2 Timothy chapter 4, there are going to come false teachers who will itch ears. What does that mean? Well, it means they will give people what they hear. They will only give them what their ears, what their ears want them to hear. So that is exactly what's happening today. A lot of people say, don't talk to me about God's punishment. Only talk to me about God's love. They will, and teachers say, you know what? That's okay. They just pile themselves teachers who will give them exactly what they want. The Bible says that is messed up. We have to say what, we have to hear what God says. Even if we don't like it, we have to listen to it. We have to obey it. But these teachers, they just give people whatever they want just so they can get money, which brings us to our next false teaching. It's called prosperity. You can see this girl is like hoarding all the money, guys. Well, here's the thing. Prosperity is a teaching. People say God wants to make you rich. God wants to make you blessed. And every Christian should be rich and no Christian should ever be sick and no Christian should ever struggle in life. And God just wants to make everybody rich, rich, rich. And they use pieces, or I should say they misuse parts of the Bible to show, hey, Every Christian should be rich, and this just fuels greed. This is messed up. A lot of, like, pastors and stuff on television, they'll say, yeah, God wants you to be rich, God wants you to be healthy, God wants you to have a great life and all this stuff. Messed up, guys. The Bible says, actually, as a Christian, you're going to have a harder life. Woohoo! No, but the th here's the thing. 
You're going to have a harder life because people are going to make fun of you for following Jesus and all this stuff. But your life is going to be good spiritually, not physically. These prosperity preachers, all they talk about is money and getting nice houses and getting nice cars. And they say, you as a Christian, you are entitled to this stuff. That is a lie. It's all greed. And they only do it because they want money. And most of these people, most of these false teachers who push this message of prosperity, just wanting money, you know what happens to them? They're found out to be cheating people out of money and doing lots of sinful things. And that's no coincidence because that's exactly what this false teaching produces. It produces greed and sin. So when you hear people say that, don't believe them. Money is not the thing that brings happiness. The thing that brings happiness is obeying the Lord. Now, let's look at another false teacher. Here is one that is called all love, as you can see the little heart right there. Well, here's the thing. A lot of people, they will only preach about God's love. They will never preach about God's anger. But the Bible is replete, which means it's full of parts that talk about God's anger and how God is going to punish people. So people will just say, oh, God loves you. God will forgive you. God never wants to hurt anybody. And yeah. That is not true because God punishes. There's a place called hell, eternal torture, torture that lasts forever. It's horrific. So God will punish. So people who just say love, 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 they're just like people who itch your ears. They give you exactly what you want to hear. Don't believe them. But then there's also an opposite to this. There's people who only, they only ever preach all punishment. They never talk about God's love. They only say God's going to destroy you and God's going to kill you and God hates you. And some people say God hates gays and all this stuff. No, being gay is a sin. It's a terrible sin. We, we need to preach against it. But a lot of people will say God hates gay people. God just kill, wants to kill gay people and throw them into hell. This is not true. That's an example. And they'll just keep talking about punishment. They'll never talk about God's love. This is also a false teaching. This is just as bad as all love. All punishment doesn't show us the other side of God's character. He is loving. He loves us so much. And all love doesn't show us the other side of God's character that if we disobey, we will be punished. So these are both false teachings. Now, we got another one here, guys. It is called false religions. Right there, see? False religions. Now, false religions, like, like as you can see here, Buddhism and uh, Wiccan, which is like witchcraft, and Islam, and Hinduism, and Judaism, and Taoism, all these things, they teach things that are wrong. They make us worship false gods. They, like the Bible says, people make idols. They make a little statue, and then they worship it. Like maybe, maybe they'll worship this crocodile here. I don't know. But that's what they do. They just make a little statue of an animal or a person, and they'll worship it. The Bible says that's messed up. It's just a statue. These false religions, they all say that they are the true way, but they are not because they worship things that are made from just like gold and silver. They can't breathe or see or hear or walk. These are teachings from devils and millions and billions of people around the world have been tricked by false religions that talk about false gods. Jesus is the only way. Jesus Christ is the only truth. He's the one who died for everybody. This is the only truth. So we must remember not to listen to false religions. There is only one way and we must remember not to let the names of other gods be in our mouths. Now, the last false teaching we're going to look at today is called good works, also known as legalism. You can see this guy with a huge uh, thing on his back, really trying to work hard to get into that shining cloud, which is heaven. Now, this is what people say. They say, you need to work hard to get to heaven. You need to obey God's law to get to heaven. You need to, oh man, you just need to do it, man. That is wrong, okay? This is kind of like the opposite of the cheap grace thing. But they say you just need to work so hard. You need to obey all God's laws and all this stuff. You just got to, man, you just got to give to the poor. You just got to help people. And this is every single false religion says you need to do good things in order to get to heaven. This is not true. The Bible says there's only one way by believing in Jesus. We are so sinful. There's no, no amount of good deeds that we do. No amount of good works that we do. No matter how hard we try to work to God, we can't get there. Even if our sin is small or big, it doesn't matter. We're sinful. We can't get to heaven. God is too perfect. That is why Jesus had to die for us. So then we, when we believe in him and trust in him, he can make us right with God and make us perfect. You see, that's the thing. So people who tell you you need to work hard to get to heaven, you need to do good deeds to get to heaven, they are wrong. They are liars. So these are false teachings from the devil. False teachings. Now, if you're like, well, where can I find this in the Bible? Are you just making all this up? No, you can find it in uh, these places. I, I can't. Jude chapter 1, 2 Peter chapter 2, Matthew chapter 7, verse 15. Is that 15? Man, it's backwards, man. I can't see, bro. Anyway, some, somewhere in Matthew 7. And then uh, you can also find Ezekiel chapter 13, somewhere in Jeremiah chapter 23. And then you can also find it in Zechariah chapter 11. So, 
Those are the false teachings. If you're like, man, you give me too much information in 14 minutes or however long this video is, then look at the description because I got it there. All right, so remember, don't listen to false teachings. Stick with what the Bible says. God is good. I will see you all later.